now we play a round called Don't Put Your Nuts on the Road. <laughs> This game involves Ed, Andy, Frankie and Russell, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This is where we test our performance stand-up skills. We spin <clears> our <throat> news generator, it settles on a topic, and anyone can volunteer jokes about the chosen subject. The winner is the team I judge to produce the funniest stuff. OK, here we go, let's spin the wheel. The first subject is homelessness. Who wants to come in on that? <laughs> Russell. I had a really great incident with a homeless bloke the other day. That sounds fairly dodgy. Um, <laughs> it was really, uh, it's weirdly uplifting. So I, I gave him a pound and I was kind of walking away and he went, Oh, mate, I've got a magic dog. Now that is a sentence that buys you half an hour with me, right? <laughs> and he had sickle down him, this dog, right? And the homeless bloke had sick down him as well. And I was like, what happened? And he went, oh, we was asleep in a skip and some bloke chucked up on us. It's the most depressing thing you've ever heard. And he just looked at me and went, no. It was amazing. <laughs> like, really? Why is that? And apparently what he did, still covered in sick, he stood up in that skip and just went... <laughs> so this bloke was so drunk, he thought his vomit had come alive. <laughs> <laughs> that man will never, ever drink again. Beer, Dave, it comes alive! It comes alive! <laughs> A lovely moment. <laughs> OK, let's spin the wheel again. The subject is taxis. Who wants to come in that? <clears throat> uh, one thing I don't miss about London is uh, London cabbies. I used to live in Muswell Hill, a leafy suburb of London, about six miles north of here. That's what I thought when I bought the house. I get into a, a black cab in London's fashionable West End. Turned out, I lived in the arsehole of nowhere. Because <laughs> I get into a black cab and I'll go, Muswell Hill, please, and I'll get this. I go, no, mate, I'm not going that way. <laughs> like, he thinks it's a bus he's driving. <laughs> what do you mean you're not going that way? I'm not asking for a lift, you know. Like, whenever I get this now, I just get in anyway. I go, all right, fair enough. Where do you want to go? <laughs> oh, spins them right out that nose, doesn't it? <laughs> you what? Come on, where do you want to go? I'm paying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, mate, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Must well help, please. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. OK, that leaves us with Frankie and Andy to spin the wheel. The next topic is transport. <laughs> I think the moral of that story is uh, never ride your horse on a runway. <laughs> <laughs> You're, of course, not supposed to take planes anymore. Not a problem for me. The thing that always mucks me up, that little monitor that you get, you know, outside air temperature, minus 56 degrees. I am inside the aircraft. <laughs> I have no intention <laughs> of going outside the aircraft. And if I ever did find myself outside the aircraft, my initial response would not be, ooh, bit nippy. <laughs> well done, Andy. <laughs> OK, let's see what's been left for Frankie. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> uh, it's celebrity. There you go. It was uh, the anniversary of Elvis's death recently. People still think that Elvis faked his death. Surely if you were going to fake your death, you wouldn't do it in a shitting accident. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd do something brave, wouldn't you? Rescue a wee boy from a river. Surely not a jobby-related heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> we had the anniversary of uh, Princess Diana's death. I thought... That at the concert, only Ricky Gervais played, paid a, a true tribute to Diana by dying a painful and horrible death. <laughs> you can get, you know, you get celebrity sat navs now. You can get a Princess Diana a sat nav. It just keeps saying, "Put your foot down." I think we can lose them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, that joke can go either way. <laughs> Okay, at the end of that round, I give the point to Russell and Andy.